Okay, now in closing, we've spoken a lot about threats this afternoon. So we're gonna finish with a triple threat, a tremendous trio of tech titans. One of our speakers leads the Digital Forensics and Incidents Response Practice at CyberX. It was previously with the Australian Federal Police working on international police investigations and uh, intelligence operations, including counterterrorism, online child abuse, computer hacking, traditional crimes facilitated by new technologies. Joining him is a renowned digital forensics researcher and senior software engineer, the leading digital paleontologist of the Velociraptor project, providing digital forensic investigators and incident responders with a next generation tool set for endpoint visibility and analysis. And rounding out the group is a senior investigator in the CyberX DFIR team, who was closely involved in some of the major attacks against Australia during 2020. Now I presume when he says he was closely involved, he means in a good way, but we'll find out. Anyway, he's currently the leader of the CCX Digger project at Cyber for you a bonus platinum presentation entitled securing our communities introducing ccx digger a new tool for detecting evidence of compromise by foreign apt from cyber cx nick klein dr michael cohen and jay banerjee take it away nick michael and jay awesome thank you spence that's that's fantastic that's fantastic uh this this feels um a, a bit serious after neil's awesome sort of walk back through time on the history of ausset uh, I remember Spencer uh, seeing you at a few as well. Um, look, thanks everyone for having us. I'm going to press a couple of buttons here and hope that the uh, internet gods are smiling on me. Give me a sec. And if I do this, we should see slides. Are we seeing slides, Jay? Mike? Uh, yeah, I can see them. Hey, I love it when things work. All right. Uh, g'day everyone, thanks for having us. Thank you very much for Ozsearch for letting us do uh, this session this afternoon. It's gonna be fairly brief. Uh, my name's Nick Klein. I look after the digital forensics and IR team at CyberCX. Um, now CyberCX, you, you probably heard of, we're a pretty proud Australian New Zealand company. And one of the core parts of our mission is to protect the communities that we live in. Um, as you all know, Australia has been hit with or experiencing a significant increase in cyber incidents during 2020, particularly in the earlier months of the year. And it targeted all levels of government and across a wide range of industry sectors as well. Uh, no doubt many people here would have seen the Prime Minister's uh, very public announcement on this back in June. So with that in mind, I'm really pleased to be here today because we're going to announce the release of a new tool that we've developed to help respond to this threat, which we've called Cyber CX Digger. And I'm also very pleased to be here by my colleague Jay from the DFIR team at CyberCX, who's been the, the leader of the Digger project for us, and an old friend, old colleague, and one of the industry's leading developers of open source DFIR tools, uh, Mike Cohen. For anyone who's used tools like Volatility or Recall or GUR, uh, as we have, uh, then you've benefited from Mike's research and development. So, uh, most recently, as, as many of you know, Mike's been working on a tool called Velociraptor for a few years now, and it's a really powerful capability for distributed endpoint analysis and for evidence collection and for response. And our DFIR team has been using this and supporting it since its very early days, we're very proud to say. Um, and Velociraptor is the platform on which CyberCX Digger is based. So I'm gonna throw over to Mike and ask Mike, if you could just uh, give us a little bit of info on Velociraptor and in particular, the, the functionality that's, that you've built, which is reasonably new to help make uh, Digger possible. Uh, thanks Nick. Um, so Velociraptor uh, is really, the, the cool thing about it is that it actually has a query language and that allows you to write uh, queries that uh, kind of uh, check up the state of, uh, of, of the machine. And you can do all kinds of forensic analysis using those queries, uh, the search and detection, and, uh, and just look for specific things. And it allows you to be very targeted with these queries. So really, Velociraptor is really all about just being a query engine. It's just like asking uh, your endpoint as if it was a database, just querying it. Uh, and then basically just extracting uh, specifically the information that you're after. And uh, this capability seems to work really well with the use case of uh, the digger uh, because you know it basically allows you to uh, write very, very specific custom checks 
um, for um, for specific things, um, which which is basically what uh, you know what, what the digger is all about. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. So before we go on to how it works, uh, just a bit about why we decided to build this and to make it available. Um, the threat actors that I mentioned before that are responsible for some of these attacks against Australia, they're known to combine some basic attack techniques and also some more sophisticated elements. Uh, and some of those can be quite difficult to detect uh, and, and with traditional tools as well. They're also known to leave implants on compromised networks, which will help them uh, gain re-entry later on if they want to. So CyberCX has worked with a lot of our clients to detect and respond to these breaches and in collaboration with some government agencies and also some industry partners. And through this work, we've developed some very specific threat intelligence about the attackers that can very quickly and effectively detect their uh, evidence of them on networks. So CyberCX Digger leverages that threat intel and provides very simple to use tools so that you can download it, scan it, and you can see if there's any evidence of those threat actors on your systems. So I'll pass over to Jay now, and he's gonna give us a bit more details about how it works. Yep, thanks Nick. Um, so at the moment, we've got an initial Windows release, and that pauses and scans several types of Windows artifacts looking for malicious activities. Uh, at the moment, this includes IIS web server logs, Windows scheduled tasks, a uh, range of different web shells, Windows service manipulations, and several program execution artifacts, um, including user assist, prefetch, shimcache, the SHRAM database, and the Windows 10 timeline. Um, so here in particular, you can see uh, that's our GitHub page. Um, and that's where you can pull down um, the, the executable from the repo uh, from our CCX Labs GitHub site. Um, and so at the moment, we've just got our Windows executable and a Linux one should be coming soon. So we just move to the download page um, and to usage. So, um, so at the moment, uh, all you have to do to run it is open a command prompt or a PowerShell prompt. Um, and remember to run this as admin um, and you just run the executable from there. Uh, it is important to run this as admin so that the artifacts can access some of the data sources which are normally locked. Um, so just remember to, to run that as admin. Um, the scan can take about a minute or so. Uh, it can sometimes take longer on a file server or similarly large systems um, if it has to pull a lot of files down. Uh, but when it's done, it'll generate an HTML report uh, which will be created in the same folder along with a zip file for more granular detections. And to view it, you just simply open that HTML report and review those results. So looking at that HTML report, it provides a summary of the areas that were scanned and, and the results that were found. Uh, some of our detections look for specific IOCs, while others, especially our program execution information, um, produces information that does need to be reviewed manually by the user or the admin and compared against normal system usage. Uh, however, in particular, we provide guidance on what to look here. Uh, look for here, and that's provided through our wiki on our GitHub page. Um, so looking at these findings, uh, hopefully, you know, number one, you won't have any findings, uh, but if there are, the report provides more information on the interpretation of the meaning. And in our wiki page, we also provide recommended next steps to investigate on a per artifact and per finding basis. And we hope to continuously update this as we learn more about these types of attacks. It is important to note as well that a finding in the report does not necessarily mean the system has been compromised um, and further investigation should also be performed uh, so that you can understand the context of any findings to determine whether they are indeed malicious or if they are just false positives. Um, so there's two ways that you can really run this tool and uh, I'll let Mike explain now. Thanks, Jay. Uh, so as you've seen, you can run it uh, in interactively on a machine uh, by itself, uh, but that doesn't really scale uh, um, to many, many machines. And most organizations have a big uh, number of machines that they might need to scan. If you've already got Velociraptor deployed, uh, Velociraptor is a client server top architecture where you can, uh, you can essentially do a hunt. Um, and so you can actually just download exactly those uh, same uh, queries that uh, CyberCX have developed as part of the Digger project. Um, and then just add them to your standard Velociraptor deployment um, and then just uh, do a hunt across your entire network and then you know within 
within a few minutes you can find out if there are any hits uh, for those indicators across the deployment. Yep, thanks Mike. So um, on to the purpose and uh, limitations of the tool. So now while Digger is very effective at detecting specific threat actor activity, it's also important to understand what it doesn't do. So it is not an AV, an antivirus. It will not block anything malicious that it does find, but it will clearly show it to you so that you can remove it after confirming yourself if it is malicious. Uh, it's also not intended to find all traces of threat actor activity, uh, but we do want to build on this further with your help. So it is actually also a community focused project. So Digger is a free and open source software. It doesn't require any registration. We don't ask for your email address, you don't track visits to the website, and it doesn't call home in any way and your results aren't shared with CyberCX. Uh, we have tested it to ensure that this is the case, um, but just be aware, you know, this is a new binary release and it is uh, just newly signed. So it is initially possibly going to detect some, um, trip some detection mechanisms. And uh, if you have mounted a cloud drive to your system, uh, it, it will also try and scan this and it may result in an alert for cloud downloads. Uh, but we have gone through and tested to make sure it's not trying to call out or have any um, uh, additional network activity that isn't required. Uh, if you do find something from uh, running this tool in the reports, uh, we have also provided recommended next steps to investigate it further in our wiki page on our GitHub. And our intention here is to empower you, the users and the admins, to detect and validate these findings yourselves. You don't have to contact us, but if you are concerned that you may have been compromised, um, we are, of course, happy to help. Uh, because this is a community-focused project, we also welcome and encourage contributions from the community. So if you find evidence of it, um, if you can share specific details with us, uh, we can identify any strong threat intelligence from that and include that into future releases. So your contribution does actively help to, to protect others. And we also welcome feedback and, and any other things that you might have, uh, which you can send to us at digger at cybercx.com.au, which is on our GitHub page as well. Cool, thanks Jay. So as Jay was saying, uh, and as I said at the start, part of the mission of CyberCX is uh, protecting the communities that we live in. Um, one of the reasons we think that these uh, threat actors have been successful in these attacks against Australian organisations is frankly because we haven't driven cost into their operations enough. Um, and we hope that by releasing Digger, this will actually help to expose some of their capabilities and some of their tooling and increase their operational costs. Now, it's not going to stop the attacks, but it should make them a little harder to carry out. Um, so CCX Digger is now launched on the public GitHub page, which you can see on the slide there. And as we said, the wiki also provides more information about the project and how the detections work and also how to interpret any scanning results you've got. So uh, please use it, download it, share it, uh, definitely contribute to it. If you have some threat intel that you'd like to contribute back and help protect others and uh, reach out, let us know what you think. Thanks very much for your time, everyone. Nick, Michael, Jay, thank you so much for a wonderful wrap up to our first day. Give them all a virtual round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, guys. Thank you very, very much. You can contact them directly on the chat line if you want to know more details. Quick update on our Lucas, are you married question on the Q&A. Got to 113 votes. Not bad at all. Someone threw in Neil, are you married after Neil's last chat. That's up to 65 votes. Someone threw in Spence, are you married? Okay, everyone just settle down a bit. Someone did ask the Spence, are you married or on Tinder like Oz, sir? No, not married, divorced. No, not on Tinder. Yes, have a recent life-changing and new wonderful girlfriend who I met actually on Bumble, not Tinder. Anyway, let's leave that and move on. People notice my costume change. Well, it's time for you to all throw on some glad rags because our gala dinner starts tonight at 7 p.m. And being Oz Cert 2020, this is not just a normal online gala dinner. Don't you worry. There's a couple of very special surprises planned. If you can't make it tonight, or regardless, we will see you tomorrow morning just before 9 a.m. We're going to kick it off with Australia's e-safety commissioner, Julie Inman Grant, and of course, the traditional closing speed debate. So thank you so much for joining us on the first day of this innovative Go on virtual new Oz Cert 2020. Stay around, chat to people right now, or we'll see you at the dinner at seven o'clock tonight. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>